Audio Jungle. STR Series Tandem Roller Instructions. Thank you for choosing Sani STR Series Tandem Rollers. We have made this video to explain the wide application and operating tips of Sani's STR Roller Series to help you better understand and operate our products. We believe the content in this film will help you operate our equipment in a safer and more efficient manner and obtain faster and better return on investment. The STR Series Tandem Rollers are asphalt compaction equipment with excellent performance and reliability. They can be used in compacting stabilized soil and RCC roller compacted concrete. The series cover a wide range of models, including 13 ton, 10 ton, 8 ton, 7 ton, 3 ton, and other sizes. The application of tandem roller is often restrained by the operator's skill and experience. We will show you how to improve the quality of compaction through this video. With the operating techniques and methods we are going to present to you now, you will be more satisfied with our product and have greater confidence in fulfilling tasks. Safety is forever the first priority for an operator of a roller you need to always be mindful of the whereabouts of other people at the site and their safety. Getting started. Before starting the machine, conduct a check of the machine. First, check the engine oil level, engine coolant fluid level, hydraulic oil level, then check the diesel level. Then check all filters of the engine. Air filter. Oil filter. And diesel fuel filter. Make sure that the power switch is on. The accelerator level is on neutral and the vibration button is on zero position. Insert the key to the ignition lock and turn it to the one position. Sound the horn three times to warn those near the machine. Check the fastening bolt, check the tubes and cables. Make sure that everything is normal and then start the engine. Check to see whether or not all indicators and instruments are displaying correctly. Turn the ignition key to the three position and release it immediately when the engine has been started. Attention. 1. To avoid damaging the starter, each turning of the starter motor must not last longer than 10 seconds. When the engine cannot be started, turn the key back to the off position and wait for 30 seconds before trying again. 2. Avoid high-speed rotation when the motor temperature is low. 3. Put the accelerator lever at the neutral position before starting the engine, otherwise the engine will not be started. Four. Make the engine run idle for three to five minutes to cool off before turning it off. Running operation. Pull the throttle lever slowly to raise the engine speed to a rated speed. Select the gear of the appropriate traveling speed. Move the accelerator lever forward to an appropriate position. Push the lever forward from the neutral position to make the machine move forward. Pull the lever backward from the neutral position to make it go backward. To stop, place the lever in the neutral position. Attention. 1. When the parking switch is at the P position, the driving function is locked. 
Pushing the handle will not make the roller go forward. 2. Parking switch is not allowed to be turned to the P position when driving. 3. A lower gear speed of 1 is recommended when climbing upward a hill. Vibration operation. Switch the vibration button to select between strong vibration and weak vibration and make the machine travel at gear 1 or gear 2. When the manual vibration mode is selected, press the button on the accelerator lever to start vibration. When vibration needs to stop, press the button on the accelerator lever again. When the automatic vibration mode is selected, the machine will travel at gear 1 speed at 2.5 km per hour and vibration will start automatically. When the speed is lower than 2.5 km per hour, vibration will stop automatically. Attention! 1. Repeated vibration on the same spot is not allowed. 2. Switch between strong and weak vibration only after the vibration stops. 3. Automatic vibration is not available when the roller travels at gear 2 speed. Only manual vibration is available. Stopping, parking, and emergency stopping. Stop driving. Place lever in the neutral position to stop the roller. Parking. To stop and park the vehicle, put the accelerator lever at the neutral position. Turn the parking switch to the P position or stall the engine. Emergency braking. In case of emergency, please hit the emergency stop switch. The engine will stall and the roller will stop moving. Turn the switch to the right. We'll put it back to suspension. Attention. 1. Do not hit the emergency stop switch unless it is an emergency. 2. Please take auxiliary parking measures, such as parking wedges, when parking on slopes. Correct shutdown. Make sure the machine is parked in a designated and safe location. Before turning off the engine, let it run idle for 3 to 5 minutes, for it to cool down gradually. Then turn off the power switch and lock the cab door. Compaction of asphalt road surface. 1. Basic compaction method. First, following the asphalt paver closely and compacting slowly. When the paver is paving asphalt, the roller should follow it closely and do the compaction timely. When the entire road is compacted, the roller should continue to follow the paver in the second round of paving in order to make the second layer of paving compacted timely. Be careful not to compact the road section by section. It will cause height differences this way. Pay attention to the order of compaction. There are three stages in road compaction. Primary compaction, secondary compaction, and final compaction. The times of compaction differ from stage to stage. See the following table. Tandem rollers are used for the initial compaction and final compaction. Pneumatic tire rollers are used for secondary compaction. The purpose of the final compaction is to improve the evenness of the surface and remove the impression of the pneumatic tire roller. 2. Principles for setting the basic parameters during compaction. During compaction, the parameters of the machine should be set according to the changes in the compacted objects. Parameters of the machine to be set. Frequency of vibration. Exiting force. Vibration or static compaction. Traveling speed. And the amount of water sprinkled. Factors influencing the parameter setting. Thickness of compaction. And temperature. Grading. And types of the materials for compaction. Principles to be followed. When compacting the middle and lower layers of the road, greater exiting force and better compactness are needed because of the thick overlay and coarse grain composition. Requirement for evenness is low, so the low frequency and high amplitude mode should be selected. The traveling speed is about 3 to 5 kilometers per hour. When the upper layer is compacted, because the paved layer is thin, 
and the grain grade is fine. Less exiting force, higher evenness, and the high frequency and low amplitude mode are required. The traveling speed is around 3 kilometers per hour. The amount of water sprinkled should be based on the principle that minimal asphalt is stuck to the drum. In this way, temperature of asphalt will drop more slowly. This is beneficial to the compaction work. Typical compaction failures. 1. Washboard effect. Washboard effect during asphalt compaction is not allowed. This picture shows black and white strips and high differences on the road surface after vibrated compaction. The white color is the color of aggregate in the mixture being crushed. This is caused by low temperature in the process of compaction. Compaction of asphalt mixture must be completed at a temperature above 70 degrees Celsius. When the temperature drops below 60 degrees Celsius, it will be difficult for the asphalt to move, and the aggregates will be crushed by the exiting force, leading to washboard effect. Asphalt sticking to the drums. When compacting asphalt mixture, asphalts tend to stick to the drums, affecting the quality of road construction. A water film is formed on the drums by sprinkling water to avoid this. Therefore, a reliable water sprinkling system must be in place in the process of compaction. The amount of water sprinkled must be just right. Too little sprinkled water will result in asphalt sticking to the drums, while too much water will cause the asphalt temperature to drop too fast and cause washboards. Epilogue. Sani's STR Series tandem rollers are qualified for all compaction works on highways, high-grade roads, and urban roads with their excellent power and maneuverability. The general public hope the road can be used longer and the road surface denser and smoother. Your work is important for realizing all these. Work hard to practice the operating skills. Work safety is your first priority. The public and you yourself will be proud of your excellent work.